welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today guys, we're going to discuss the relation between the master numbers and how that compatibility works exactly. So what we have here guys is there's the triangle and it's a magic triangle with the 11, the 22 and the 33. All three of these numbers are very, very powerful. They all have their own attributes that make them unique, but they also have a very special similarity that I noticed most numerologists do overlook. And that's the fact that the 11 is within all of them. 11 times one is 11. 11 times 2 is 22, 11 times 3 is 33. I'm not trying to give you guys basic math, but that's simply how it is. So the 22 and the 33 are just more amplified versions of the 11. So when you get two master numbers together, per se, an 11 and an 11, they're going to be able to relate on each other in a way that they don't know how. There'll be an unseen connection because of their similar life paths for one, but also the fact that they have a higher frequency than other people. So it's like two aliens meeting each other, not knowing that they're aliens. It gives them that sort of aspect and they can fall in love very quickly. For business, they can get things done because everything will be cohesive and there'll be a lot of equality there. I'm not saying this is going to go without having differences or just um, like no problems whatsoever, but they will be able to get things done in a lot easier fashion in comparison to not doing anything at all. Um, when it comes to friendships, they're able to really get along as well, just because two 11s obviously like I said, have the same kind of upbringing, the same kind of background. Maybe the cultural narrative may be a bit different, but the underlying feeling that they have about life will be the same, and that's what will make them come together. They can conceptualize ideas and just make something fruitful out of it. Uh, when it comes to the 11 and the 22, the, there is slight differences. The 22 still goes down to a root number of four. So this gives them a bit more of an aspect of more so being pragmatic. The 11 is the dreamer, a visionary, a person that maybe that people would kind of view as um, looking at things that might not be idealistic or not realistic because it roots down to two but when you get things like the 22 over 4 you get that pragmatist that person that has the same spiritual element as the 11 but they're able to put it into practice into the material world so they're able to bring heaven to earth that's what makes the 22 the most powerful number because they're the main one that controls the physical realm and they still have a lot of spiritual strength that accompanies them as well so in a relationship, the 22 would probably be more of the powerhouse, the person that's able to ground the 11, tell them how it is, tell them what to do. And sometimes it works vice versa. I'm not saying that the 22 is the dominant number, but it's just a number that can help a lot in the physical realm. So things like our finances, athletics, anything like that, the 22 is gonna dominate that. But the 11 is gonna dominate intuition and clairvoyance, and having psychic abilities, and also being able to envision things that are not yet there. The 11 has a better faith. The 22 might be mere, more um, nihilistic more negative, right? So with business, like I said, 22, it works great. Finances, all those things, 22, beautiful. Friendship, they may not necessarily get along, but they will because of that natural 11 energy that they both have. Um, with the 22, like I said before, they might be a little more negative than the 11. The 11 shows their negativity through anxiety and stress. The 22 shows it through depression, through being cynical, not believing anything. Because the 22 is root to four, which is similar to like the eight. And the eights, fours, these type of numbers are very cynical. They don't get depressed the same way other people do. They don't go home, cry in their bed, and say all this pretty much dumb crap. What they do is they actually get things done. They get more serious. They get more cold-hearted about it. So that's what will actually be a bit of a throw-off to the 11, because the 22 is going to be able to throw things off and kind of just diminish it from their mind and keep it moving on that focus. That's what makes them very relentless. That's what makes them ruthless. The key to always being ruthless is how focused you on your mission, right? Last but not least, we have 11 with 33. The 11 with the 33, it's interesting because the 11 and the 33 get along quite well because they're both very spiritual. The 33 is very empathetic. The 33 might have more social skills than the 11 where the 11 is more caught up in who they are. The 33 might have that more um, social ability and able to magnetize other people better. So in a friendship, they'll still definitely get along much easier than the 11 and the 22. For a business-wise, they'll get along very well just because they're both visionaries. They're both people that want to have a worldwide focus on them and they want to make a change. Whereas the 22 might just want to make a structure for themselves, all right? And then for anything like a relationship, the 11 and 33 work very, very well together because that common 11 energy is the common denominator and they're able to just see through each other very well, all right? So that's it for the 11 portion. The 22 and the 33's compatibility works very well just because the 22 is a master builder, the 33 is a master teacher. It works well in a business where the 33 would be the mentor, the 22 would be the apprentice or the person that's learning, the student of the game. In a 
more so intimate relation, it works in a great way as well, just because they're both able to kind of bounce off each other's energy and they both have a very high frequency. So you guys are kind of getting the point now. The master numbers have a higher frequency that can actually feed each other. When other numbers, single digit numbers are with master numbers, they're actually taking energy out of them because they're actually just trying to give other people more of their energy and make them feel better. But when mass numbers are together, they're able to actually give each other energy and recharge one another. That works in friendship, business, and also for intimate relations. If you get a 22 with a 22 by itself, these two will work very well as long as they're focused on like, um, if it's an intimate relation, focus on intimate relation, handle business separate. If it's friendship, have a friendship, have your business separate. If it's business, have your business and have your personal life separate. That's how it's gonna work. But if you don't have that boundary selection worked out from before, there's gonna be a clashing of heads. The 22 wants to be number one as well. They wanna very much control their environment, control their reality. So if they don't have that there, then there can be certain mishaps that'll come about, all right? Last but not least, we have the 33 to 33. Master teacher with master teacher, that archetypal um, personality. It works well um, as long as both parties have got into the 33 energy. And it's very mysterious to see that because a lot of people, for one, don't have life path 33. And then for two, to actually fully understand and realize that you have to pass the segments of 11 to get there, somewhat of the 22 to get to the 33. So they have to really pass through those levels to then feel the full spiritual evolution of where they are. This rarely happens before the age of 50 for life path 33s. So in a business endeavor, I would say if one person's already mastered their energy and the other person hasn't, the person that hasn't will probably just drain the 33 regardless, even though they do have master number energy. In a friendship, same thing could happen. If they're, if they're not used to processing that energy and utilizing it correctly, it's gonna come out in negative ways. So that will lead to friction in the friendship. But if they're both evolved, it works perfectly. Intimate relationships, same exact as friendship. If they're both evolved, it'll work perfectly. They'll be completely compatible. If not, there's gonna be an imbalance leading to mishaps. All right. So that does finalize the numerology chapter, guys. If you do have any questions regarding any of the compatibility segments I've went over, uh, just let me know in the comments. Aside from that, like, subscribe. Follow me too for today, guys. Peace.